This is a Schwinn Link with the new e-bike kit, 350 watt geared motor on it. The new double rear rack with LifePro 4 battery pack, 36 volts. We're just going to do a little bit of a, uh, a test ride to see how it handles the hill. So this is the e-bike kit, 350 watt geared motor test. We're on the Schwinn Link. We're going to try to go up this hill, give you an idea of what you can expect for uh, hill climbing ability with this uh, 350 watt geared motor from e-bike kit. We are in uh, three and three on a 21 speed. And uh, we're going to start off, we're going to give it full throttle. And we're also going to pedal, get us up to 12, 14 miles an hour, and then I'm going to stop pedaling. And I'll stop pedaling now. And you can see the slowdown. So it's definitely not going to take you up a hill without pedaling. I'm going to start pedaling again. If I didn't, I would stall. And I would estimate about a 40 to 50% boost in power from the motor. And this is running at 36 volts. So definitely makes the hill easier to get up. Um, and I would say, yeah, about uh, 40 to 50% easier. And again, we're coming up the top here. And if I were to stop completely, and you can hear it wind down and I would stall if I didn't pedal. So definitely makes the hill a lot easier to climb, but you have to pedal. So this is a, uh, a men's 21 inch Trek Cruiser outfitted with a uh, rear direct drive e-bike kit 500 watt motor and a 36 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, this is the same battery we just took off of the uh, blue link with the 350 watt geared motor from me by kit. So we're, we're going to try to uh, ride this up the hill for a little bit of comparison and to give you some uh, insight into uh, the hill climbing ability of the uh, direct drive motor versus the geared motor at the same voltage. This is a single geared bike. I'm going to pedal as much as I can here. 225 pound rider, pretty steep incline and we're going to give it full throttle. Then I'm going to Stop pedaling all together right now. And slows down a couple miles an hour. And it would definitely stall if I didn't pedal again, so I'm going to pedal. And this is again a single gear bike. And pedaling this, same voltage, 36 volt as the 350 watt geared motor. This 500 watt direct drive motor is actually about 20% um, stronger. So, uh, where I said uh, 350, the 350 watt geared motor would give you a 40 to 50% increase, this one here is giving me about um, 50 to 70% uh, boost in power. So, it was very easy to get up the hill even in the one single gear here on this cruiser. And now I've let go as we've come to the top, slight incline, doing about 12 miles an hour and picking up speed. And this is definitely stronger than the 350 watt geared motor. 